guys, it's Rocky here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in for this week's vlog. Oh, and if you are new here, a special, special welcome to you. Thank you again for joining me in this vlog. So I'm so excited because we have so much going on this week. I wanted to film a little skincare routine for you guys because there has been like a lot going on with my skin. So my skin was really bad last year. I made a vlog on my birthday around that time. I was just feeling really down and bad about my skin because I had so many just dark spots, pigmentation, and just like overall a really, really bad acne. So um, I've come a long way since then. My skin is kind of pretty clear now, but you won't see on this. I don't know if you can, but it's it's been doing really well. Um, one thing I'm gonna say about my skincare routine is my skin is nowhere near perfect. There's a lot of work that goes into getting perfect skin, especially if you have acne prone skin. People just advertise random products that Obviously, it might work, might not work, but that's not the whole point. I want to show you guys the skincare routine because, first of all, it's super cost effective and it's always been so hard for me to find a good skincare regime besides for Johnson's and anything sponsored to use on my face. So, I just went out to Discam and bought the really, really, really great um, skincare brand. It's called Bionique that I was using first. But then I have been, I just changed it over to a new brand. But because Bionica worked so well for me, because literally all of the things I'm going to show you are empty, I've used them and they've really been working for me. So one thing it's helped me with is definitely breakouts. I've had really, really good looking pores lately. Like my pores literally look like bumps on a gravel road. Only thing that really matters when it comes to your skincare is whether you can afford it and just how much effort you put into it. I did start doing a lot of changing around my skincare and I started taking vitamins as well. So I'm gonna show you the vitamins I've been taking. It's basically collagen, but there's a whole bunch of other great ingredients in the pull that I'm taking. Hopefully you guys will be able to benefit from this video. And um, by the way, that skincare routine does set me back about a thousand rand. When I say a thousand rand, I'm including the pulls as well, but I'm excluding the masks. If you do really focus on washing your face properly and toning and removing your makeup, the skincare routine should work for you. Go to Just Kim. There's so many great advices there. Just remember, if you like this video, like and subscribe down below. And of course, click that notification bell for my next uploads and of course remember to leave a comment down for me so i can write you back and show you how much i appreciate all the time that you're taking out to watch my videos and yeah i'm super excited so let's get on with the vlog guys all right guys so this is the first time that i'm having to look into the mirror it's kind of hard so forgive me if i'm not doing the right thing Okay, let me start with my skincare. I have been um, going through changes with my skin. I know it looks super dry right now. I washed it for you guys. But um, let me show you what I use to wash my face on a daily basis. So I've been using this product called um, Bionique. It's this brand that really is good with acne prone skin and my skin is oily as well so it's been working really well it's special cleansing everything i use is generally a cleansing product i also have this other cleansing rebalancing water for acne prone skin this one i use in the morning and then this one i use at night i do like exfoliating at night i'm not exposing my skin to too many things uh, my skin's definitely looked better. Let me start with this little baby right over here. This is the Bionique Defense Tolerance. I will do a little screen view for you guys because I don't think it's going to show very well on this camera because it's very far away from me. Uh, let's get in with it. I'm using this cotton cosmetic pads. These are the smooth and sealed edges. I like using this one because it is just so silky smooth on your skin. So what I do is I take a little bit of this and I just put two pumps on and then I massage it on my skin. Gotta lift the wig, lift the wig for this one. So this product basically helps my skin also not crack. I have oily skin, I'm using a lot of products that dry my skin out. This helps me not to crack as my skin is very, very dry. 
as I have to pull out all the oils out of it. One thing that this helps me with is my dry skin. So apparently it helps with intolerant and hypersensitive skin. I get a little bit of cracks in my skin as my skin routine is for oily skin. So it tries to dry out my skin and pull all the oils out of my skin so that when I do produce new oils, it's, you know, oils that don't have, of course, all the bacteria that came with the previous wash or me just touching my face this is really really helpful and you can use it on the eye area it really is good for wiping off makeup so what i like to do is use this on my face in the morning when i wake up when i just have you know creams on my face i wipe my face off with this and then i wash my face with either the scrub or i use this rebalancing water right here and it really helps just of course to just restore oils back in my skin and to of course wipe off the previous stuff i had as when i do wash my face all right when i wash my face i like to go in with a fresh face with nothing on it and then scrub next thing i'm going to go in with is this body shop coco calming water it's a face mist and i've been using this religiously since i got it i just like to spray my face because it soothes my face and hydrates my face because i do a lot of hard work on my face it does get irritated very easily so yeah i wanted to also show you guys this product i've been using this is a scrub which is the bristled one and then of course it has this one of the plasticky bristles they're actually kind of silicone feeling i have the exfoliating sponge i've been only using the two which is just the ones with the bristles on i've been loving this product it's helped my skincare so much if you go closer to my face you'll see that my pores and just my general skin is just looking really soft and more supple, but it's definitely not there yet. I am still looking to add more things into my skincare. This, I believe, was about 200 Rand at Discam. This is where actually I've got all the other products from. All of these other products I got from Discam, and they're really cost effective for my entire skincare, and I generally get about seven things. It usually adds up to almost 800 to a thousand rand which is not bad if you are using this stuff correctly this stuff has lasted me about two months already so i've been using it very well i've been uh, very consistent i do my skincare routine at night and day now before i used to also just put on my uh, face wash and i found that my skin was not reacting to the face wash because I wouldn't use it for long enough. I'd literally put it on my hands quickly, like I would spend more time lathering it than I'd be putting it on my face. So um, I started now just taking a little bit of time in the shower to really just get it into my skin. I just took, turn off the taps, put it, just get it lathered into the skin so that your skin can absorb all those ingredients because that is what you want at the end of the day. Let me skip onto my moisturizer. So my moisturizer is also nearing emptiness, but I'm using this Actin. It's this is a sebum normalizing cream basically. So it comes out in this kind of like orange. No, it's not really orange. More like a yellowy. Usually when I put on my cream, I have to take off my ring, otherwise it just sits on there. And I just spend some time rubbing this into my skin. I'm gonna go in with my without to show you guys and i'm going to go in with my eye lift eye cream and this is eye contouring um eye contouring serum so this basically helps with eye just eye wrinkles and anything happening around the eye and i like to put a lot because my eye area has been missing eye cream try start your eye cream like today okay all right now that i'm done with that i'm going to go back in with my body shop mist focusing now on my acne and then hopefully when I get the next round of skincare I'll be focusing on my dark spots and trying to get my skin looking brighter and more even toned but the next thing I'm going to be using is this bad bang bad girl uh, by benefit I actually got this from one of my good friends she's also a youtuber and um, she's got a blog it's called the beauty space and she is literally a lash queen I'm gonna go in with this Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil 
but I'm actually going to use them for my brows. I like how it just helps you kind of fill everything in. It's literally just a little bit and then I'll do it again here. Don't go too crazy because I don't want people to see that I did anything to my eyebrows. So I just use this brush and I just go in and comb them out. And then sometimes if one of the lashes are just way too stuck together, I will separate them. Now when I'm done with all of that, I'm going to go in with a lip care. So lately I've been using this Lipsano. I love how it feels on my lips and it's beeswax so it's natural. Again, because I have eczema, if I put anything else on my lips, my lips turn black and bumpy and they look rashy and they look just so uneven and they just don't look smooth. So this is my go-to if you have eczema, please try this out. It honestly does work so well. I do masks as well, so I'd like to include a few masks. This is one mask that I've been using in the mornings. It's called the Collagen Hydraulic under eye mask patch as well this is the collagen hydro gel mask as well it's so so good my skin needs collagen and i've been feeding it so much it's probably so tired of me feeding it collagen but i needed to just you know give my skin that youthful look again all right guys so i quickly had to leave go get these because i put them right next to my bed so i don't forget to take them these are the Solal Healthy Aging Specialists and this is the Collagen Plus Skin Essentials and this one is for hair, skin and nails. Um, I have 30 capsules in this bottle but obviously not anymore because I literally take one every single day. And the ingredients is obviously collagen, omega-3, uh, vitamin A, zinc. The one thing with masks, try to do masks as often as possible. I know masks are very expensive. This one here, these, this brand is called um, Skin Republic. And this usually sets me about 50 rand per pack, which is a bit much, including like the skincare routine itself. Um, if you ever have spare change, rather just get yourself one of these so don't use something for a week and be like oh you know it's not working my skin has taken at least two months to get back to this um to where it is now um i started the skincare again just the end of my birthday which was quite a long time ago and usually the doctors give you like 28 days to see if something really works in your skin or is going to make some sort of effect on your skin and I believe that you should try stick to at least over 20 days to see if something's really working for you. Because when I started this whole skincare routine, it did, um, I think it was like maybe two weeks, three weeks of me just not seeing results and still breaking out. And then eventually my skin really started like going really well together with this and the skincare and masks. Mm, delicious. Okay guys, that is basically my skincare routine. I hope you guys find my review super helpful and again i'll see you guys next week thank you so much for watching this video remember to subscribe down below and click that notification bell for my future uploads and i'll see you next week bye